back. This is Fantastic Things and How We Hide Them. I'm not Chris. And I'm not Karina. But we're here together. As usual. For more fun times and And shenanigans. shenanigans. If this is your very first time joining us, welcome to the party. This is our sibling duo podcast slash YouTube channel about life with chronic and invisible illnesses and conditions, including um, mental and emotional. Because I'm mental and she's emotional. Hi. (laughs) Where can they find us? <laughs> you can find us on YouTube or listen to us on Spotify, Audible, Podbean, Google, not Apple yet. Places. 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 Uh, most places you can find on podcast. Mm-hmm. And then you can join us on Discord. Yes. And definitely watch. Watch YouTube. It's fun. You get to see all of the crazy faces and the subtle weirdness that goes on. Yeah. And we do live streams on the weekend on mm-hmm. Fridays and Saturdays. Friday evening, Saturday morning, mountain time yep. in the U.S um but yeah be, join join in watch it's crazy we have it's fun a, it's so much fun it is and the we, lives we, are great we get to know people we can get to know you or you can lurk it's all good yeah so this week we're going to be talking about how the holidays are hard because they are holidays are hard it's gonna be fun we're gonna complain a lot lots it's gonna be great and commiserate so stick around for the fun times but first but first it is time for the weekly recap. Check in. Indeed. This week, I died. Multiple times. <laughs> a lot. You did. I died a lot. And you and you made it to work most days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> most yeah. days. She I had to that. leave work early on Monday. Yeah. Because my the, the patch was not going well. For those of you who don't know, I was on the Butrans patch. As you can see, there is no Butrans patch. Mwahaha. Three weeks. Three weeks of hell. Yeah. And then I just got like really overdosy. And like my body was like, you're going to sleep now. Um, Yeah. And I had to go lay down in the nurse's office for like a half hour before I was even able to drive home. And then I didn't go to work on Tuesday because I was still so messed up. Yeah. And then I emailed my doctor. They got back to me on Thursday and they were like, stop that. Stop. (laughs) Just stop. Stop. That's enough. Get some help. Yeah. Because I emailed them a laundry list of these are the things that are happening right now. And I don't like any of them. Nope. (laughs) And the medical assistant emailed back and she was like, I spoke to your doctor and the pharmacist and they agree that you need to stop. Yes. Which is no more of that. (laughs) enough the the hard part about this is that this is the same thing that happens to me when i do the same medications yeah like i've done the butrans i've done extended relief and i have the same problem where it just doesn't click with the body like you start over overdosing is what it feels like yeah at random yeah you'll get random bursts of it and then yeah it was just uh and watching her go through it was difficult because it's like uh, i did that and it wasn't fun i know about this yeah so then it turned into, so I stopped on Thursday because I was like, I've had enough. I'm done. Yep. We are, we're ripping this thing off and putting it away and calling it a day and seeing what happens. And internet said withdrawal would be, okay, so no, the doctor said, don't worry about it. It's fine. Lowest dose. It'll be great. You're going to um... be totally wonderful and fine. Internet said, you're going to have some problems, but they're going to be mild over two weeks. Um, and they will start in like two or three days. No. Okay. So that was a lie. This is this is something that I don't know if it's us or not because we have weird things that like we can confirm between each other that are the same. Yeah. And probably within our like family. Yeah. But Maybe I don't know if it's process things. Is right. Different. I don't know if this is a universal or not. But like for me, withdrawals, which I've had to go through with losing places or changing medications or yeah. just it, it happens is a three day experience for me and it happens within 12 hours of stopping yeah like they're like oh it'll take days to happen it won't not for us yeah it's almost instantaneous yeah like once so, the med is used up gi stuff started like friday yeah and then it turned into full-blown hell saturday yeah, saturday no, was like dude there's no way to describe it in an accurate fashion. It was like if you had like a really awful flu and then COVID together as one and you just crammed it into a day and you were like, you're going to be in so much pain. <laughs> you're going to hate every moment of this. 
Um, yeah, it was it was really awful. I did not have a good time. No. Well, and people don't often talk about the serotonin lack, but like. Yeah, the like, I'm just going to cry. I'm going to lean into my pillow and cry about yeah, how I don't feel Yeah, unexplainable sads. Un- impossible sads is what I call it because yeah. you can't escape it. It makes yeah. no sense. You can logic your way around it, but you're going to be depressed. It's like, I feel so unbelievably sick and I can't believe I did this to myself. <laughs> right. I can't believe I let someone talk me into doing this to oh, myself. It's so bad. It's so <laughs> this bad. This was a bad idea. <laughs> I am dumb for trying. No. No, you did what you had to do. I did. And I'm proud of myself for doing it. And Me too. And I'm glad that they were like, y- you need to stop now. I'm impressed, honestly. Yeah. Because I was worried they were going to be like, well, stick it out until we get together and then we'll talk about it. Right. I was like, Which is what I they told me to do. can't function. Until I was hospitalized. Like, yeah. I, I went until it was like, Chris, you're not doing well. You're, you're, you need to go in. Yeah. Yep. So. Like, I had people offering God. to drive me home. It was, it was so bad. Yeah. I had my nurse write, like, a blurb about what she observed and she's like her eyes were just closing her face was spasming you could just see like she was not doing good her Mm -hmm. her words were slurring it was it was gross and bad and terrible and then withdrawal was just gross and bad and terrible yeah in a whole different way so that was my week and my weekend (laughs) yeah we didn't record yesterday because she was dying because i was really really sick well and i spent all, all of friday working on stuff yeah so i guess my week um i spent a lot of time with the kids which was nice because i hadn't been hanging out with sophie as much Mm -hmm. she was she was on one of her swings and she was like no i want to hang with my friends and i was like cool hang with your friends but this week she i was like you want to watch movies Uh, she was like hell yeah good so we've been watching hunger games and it was fun watching with her um and then on friday we did the big like brand redo i guess yeah like Jen worked all day on on the logo, and so was up good. all night. And then she did the merch, and then we had to like record a mid roll, which yep. you'll have. And I mean, we didn't go to bed till like five. That's crazy. Like we were in it. We made sure everything uploaded, everything was done and ready. Yeah. And she did the thumbnails even at like four in the morning. Jen is a rock star. Oh yeah, she came She's through hard. Kind of the best. And it looks so good. Yeah. I'm gonna put it here. It's it's probably already there. It's beautiful. Look at it. It's the new one. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. Um, and then okay, so we <laughs> worked all night Friday. Yeah. And then I woke up at ten thirty, and was like, oh no, they're probably already here. And I ran yeah. downstairs, like I threw on my clothes, and I I sat down, and I was so dazed. I looked at my phone, and you at eight, you were like, um, not doing great. Yep. And I have a thing tonight, so can we just not? Yep. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, no, that works. Yeah. So I'm glad. I'm glad we didn't wind up shooting. <laughs> no, it worked out great. It would not have worked anyway. No. Yeah. No, it would not have. No. <laughs> it would have been a horrible time for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so we did that. And then yesterday I hung out with Austin. Yeah. And Jen. And then I'm recording today. Yep. So oh, that was my week. So, yeah. Not nearly as eventful. Just good. Right yeah right that's a positive good yeah so jumping into topic where do you want to start let's start with the holidays are hard Mm -hmm. period yes so like just in general in general even when i was at my healthiest Mm -hmm. the holidays sucked (laughs) they just do yeah like especially as an adult when you have to see people or arrange things or set up things or there's so much going on it's hard but then you add being chronically ill on top of it, and then the limitations that you have that you yeah. you don't want to follow, but you need to. Right. And then just the self-pressure and then the the guilt that if you have to relax or... Yeah. Like, for me, this year, the, the what started this is that I missed Thanksgiving because I could not... I came down... <laughs> I was like, I'm going to come down. I'm like, I'll be medicated and good to go. And I yeah. sat down. I was there for about 10 minutes and I just could not function. I, Bop even walked over. He's like, how are you doing? And I was like, no, I'm doing. He's like, message received. And I was like, <laughs> oh, it's that bad. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like he saw it on my face and yeah. I was like, oh, so I had to go. I know that face. The yeah. face of we're done recording today. <laughs> go upstairs. Yeah. The Chris, stop it stop do not go away i have the face okay yeah. I have the, i'm done face he'll make the face 
<laughs> and I, I went upstairs and I lay down and I rested for the rest of the day. Yeah. But then there's like the guilt that comes with it. Yeah. And then, like, like I said earlier, it's like it. It's not even just guilt. It's like defeat. It is defeat. Yeah. Because it's like a new limitation and you yes. feel like you're letting everyone down. And yeah. then it's, there's a lot to it. So we'll, we'll unpack it. We'll start though. Yeah. It just, it's hard. It's hard. And then. I do like the angle of like, if you're someone who's been chronically ill for some time. Yeah. Like you were saying, we unpack it or we like plan it as our reference was last year's holiday. Right. And then we plan for that. Yes. And then suddenly it's not that. Right. And there's new limitations. Mm-hmm. And there are new factors. And there are new problems that get like involved. And that in and of itself is, it can feel really defeating. Oh, it's demoralizing. Yeah. Right. Like, <sighs> sorry, Jen's raising her hands, but she's not raising no. her hands. She's just she's stretching. stretching. Um, <laughs> Yes, yes, you in the back. Cute one. With the face. I wasn't a looking for Mike. Food. And I had backup plans for food in case I fucked up the food again this year. <laughs> so uh, Jen was... J- oh, no, go ahead. And I had plans for, like, if my mom decided to spontaneously show up, mm. or if Steph needed to come over for something. Yeah. Because- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we, I- have to, we have to re-say all that. Yeah. But I had that plan in place for okay, Steph was at the table, and then I saw her sleep and was like, okay, there's the backup plan that I had prepared for that. So Jen was just saying how <laughs> being wife of chronically ill, you make multiple plans, mm-hmm. um, and you learn how to shift on your feet and pivot and yeah. change the plan as it needs to plan or as it needs to change. Right. Um, plan for flexibility is what she just said. So no, I think that that's, it's really interesting to see it from the other side. Yeah. Be like, okay, so we're, we're factored into the plan in multiple ways. Right. <laughs> right. Well, cause think about it. My, that was my defeat, right? Like I went upstairs and I felt like emotionally and physically like crap. Yeah. And I just sat there and I was in it. Yeah. But for Jen, like what my my concerns were all for not because Jen had already made the plan. She knew what was going on and she adjusted on the fly. Right. Which is an excellent skill it in is. and of itself. No, and it was much appreciated. Yeah. Because it was rough. Like I just right. I felt bad because I knew Bapa wanted everyone there and Yeah. I just well couldn't. and I wanted to come over that night and I just couldn't do it. Right. And so I was frustrated, but when you were like, "Dude, I didn't, I didn't go, and I live here," and I was like, "Okay, I feel better." Yeah, but it's hard, and it's hard when you have to plan for like multiple events in a day to try to yeah. make different groups of people happy with your presence, with different levels of like attention too. Yes, like some groups demand like just you as a person to be there Mm -hmm. and they like like you can be yourself you know what i mean yeah like it's like i I feel like when you go see your family yeah it's more uh natural yes right there's no like oh i'm asking it's like oh this is what's going on with me blah 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 and they understand and Mm -hmm. but then like when you get in with some family it's like it's so performative yes like it's be a completely different person uh, don't talk about any of your your stuff going on. Yep. Like you're fine, you're fine, you're totally right. fine. And then I'm great. Don't don't look not fine is a big one for me. Yes. Like always look good. You, you know. Yeah. You power through. Yep. Well, that's the other part is like the different groups of people that we have to like interact with, mm-hmm. and like you were saying, the people who know different things is another yeah. one. Where yeah. Sometimes you don't see these people for six months, twelve months mm-hmm. at a time. And then they're like, fill me in. How are you doing? And you're like, <laughs> about that. <laughs> Ugh. How can I summarize this in as short a span as possible yeah. without trying to be like, oh, pity me? No, yeah. please don't pity me. Don't. Please don't. 
But then you have the family who's like, how are you doing? Yes, overly concerned. And you're like, ah, ha, ha, stop looking at me. Right, like the the being overly babied one. Yeah. Yeah. Or or my favorite is the one who casually knows something's up with you but doesn't understand it. Oh, yeah. So they're like, so what? what is this? What's What's going on? Explain it to me. So what you you can't you can't do things <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like um well no i guess i some things i can't do but yeah they're like you're you're in pain right. like is does, it like 24 7 or is it like is it always a 10 because like i don't know when my mom was on percocet it was like she was only on it because she was at a 10 like 24 7 so yeah yeah and well like, and when they know things like that ugh. that you like didn't tell them uh-huh. which means that it's getting around the yeah. ugh. Ugh. Well, you know, uh, when i was at the dentist i had i you need to give her a mic oh yeah 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 if you if you keep talking you're getting a mic <laughs> Jen, Jen just said that there are people the there's the person who's like oh you're on pain medication oh yeah oh I had I got pain medication at the dentist but I dumped mine because I didn't think I needed it yeah like it wasn't it wasn't that bad like I, I definitely was okay isn't it over prescribed yeah oh yeah or like you need to be careful with that stuff and you're like <sighs> no dude shit, i've been doing dude. this for like nine years leave me alone that, that's the thing too is like this leave me new. alone <laughs> i can manage my shit thank you yeah the, the closest i've ever gotten to like or at least recently like talking about that was when ben found mine he, oh, was, yeah. he was on the bed and he's like pain meds and i was like yeah dude i i need them yeah. to function and he's like oh okay yeah well that was interesting like with the patch because I wasn't hiding shit. No, guys. you were I very. I just don't. And so kids would ask and I would like have to explain it. And they were like, oh, <sighs> so it's like pain, pain. I'm like, yeah. yes, it's like pain, pain. <laughs> it's legit pain, guys. <laughs> I like that that was like for them that took it yeah. up a notch and like, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's just. Ugh. And that's the thing is like trying to sort out who knows what details about what or who you haven't told the most recent developments to or how many times you're going to have to tell that story. I'm and... going to I'm going to re- say things that I'm going to regret saying. I'm not I'm not going to regret saying them. But there there is the performance and then there's juggling the performance that is expected like yes. The story that is told about you to other people. Yeah. When you meet those people, you have to be that person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we had that a lot. A lot, a lot growing up where it was like, oh, so you're not doing well in school. It's like, well, like, this is news uh, to me. Oh, okay. I thought I was getting straight A's, but no, I'm I'm struggling a bit. Yeah. Or, you know, the like, <laughs> oh, you have EDS. Like, you know what I mean? You have to be that person like, oh, yeah. I'm super ill now. And then you have to like play it up like yeah. that you're ill. Yeah. Or <sighs> you have that person who asks, you explain it really earnestly. And they're like, uh-huh. I didn't and then they know. turn yeah, around. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, yeah, you're yeah. like, oh, okay. Yeah, like they weren't they weren't there for the conversation. They were like, I didn't want to know any of what you just told me. I I'm was like, just being polite. You. I didn't really want you to ask. You could have just not asked in the first place. Just say it. Oh god. Just leave me alone. Yeah, and that's that's the Let social aspect thing. of it all. Yeah. Like you're doing all that while overexerting yourself because you spent all day doing yes. everything and the prep work for it. Because ever like we all build up. We all have that. This is our social day. Let's let's ramp up for it. Let's get everything in order. It'd be yep. ready and have my stuff and just yeah. to survive one day. Yeah. Or two. God uh, forbid. Ugh. Yeah, Christmas and two. Christmas Eve. And ugh. yeah. No. Well, I mean, we're kind of doing that. We're going to be doing the live. Oh, we're doing a Christmas live. Oh. Yeah. And it's it's scheduled twenty third. Be there. And then we're doing the twenty fourth and the twenty fifth. And then yeah, then we have so we're Christmas Eve, little... and then we have Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Do you have Christmas Eve plans? I don't know. Do we have Christmas Eve plans? I did tell. That's not that far away. That's love. like a, two weeks away. That's not that far. She's like, no. I'm just wondering because normally we host, so you never know. We don't have to this year. I'm I'm content with just doing a dinner. I'm assuming it'll be with the like Escaras. Okay. But I haven't heard anything yet. Right. So we will see. Maybe maybe I'll just bomb that. Yeah. Do it all. 
No, don't do it all. That would be <laughs> I, the problem, a lot. This, okay, and this this is a great example. Yeah, that's fine. What? Jen's just saying what we'll have for dinner, like what we have. Oh, oh that's perfect. Okay. Um, but what I'm saying, perfect example of things that bother me is when I want to do the thing, yeah. but I can't. Yes. I've been trying to get to the to the, your family's get togethers for like four years. Yeah. And not just like, oh, I want to do it. Like legit, I want to go. I want to go, but it just doesn't work. No. Yeah. And it bums me out so bad. Yeah. Because and you're like, I have to wait a whole nother year to try again. Right. Right. And who's to say I'll be okay then? <sighs> so frustrating, dude. Yeah. Like those are plans that I'd like to have and keep. Well, but... and the frustrating thing is like especially when you are bound to another person mm -hmm. your spouse and you have all of the family to get to. Yeah. And then you want to, you don't want to make your spouse look bad. Right. Because of you. Right. Right. Like, does that make sense? Oh, totally. How, what, what am I trying to say here? The like, I don't even know how to perform uh, spouse. Yeah. Right. Cause I get what you're saying. It's like, you don't want to be the absentee spouse. <laughs> that's me. Jen's been going to every to social know, event for I me know, but, for years. But that's the thing. We're trying to dispel some of the like guilty part of this. Of, oh, like, I, I know. I just you just <laughs> just called sorry, me out. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't want to I'm not allowed to be the absentee spouse if it makes you feel better. Right. I would kind of like to be sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Nice. And so they faked that joke. Amazing. Yeah. They still make that joke. <laughs> you got up to say that. <laughs> <sighs> this is going to be an editing nightmare. I'm so sorry. I hate this episode. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. This is what happens when you let her in the room with no lateral. <laughs> and no mic. Yeah, no mic. Because she should just be happy with the mic. <laughs> She's like, wait, I still haven't taken Adderall. <laughs> well, she hasn't. Jen, go take your meds. <laughs> now. Okay. Um, what was I saying before that? <coughs> the the absentee spouse. Absentee spouse. So that was me for the longest time. Longest. Long time. It's been me for the long time. Yeah. Like, I remember being sleep deprived and in pain and like being like jen the first thanksgiving after we moved in together or after we got the house together yeah and i was like i can't and she's like do you want me to go and i was like we should make an, a presence but i don't yeah you don't have to and she went she went and they didn't really know her yet she went by herself oh. she had seen them like in passing and she went and she did the whole thing by herself and they thought she was the weirdest and i loved it <laughs> like oh she did she did what jen do and she did the thing. Yeah, that's it impressive. Was, yeah, whole... really awkward no. for her. But I've I've been that for a long time, and it does it kills me inside because I'm like, yeah, like with Jen's family too. Like even in like they'll be like, oh, we're in town, and I'm like, oh, I didn't plan for you to be in <laughs> You're town. Like, Ick, I'm this not is a ready. bad time. <laughs> Spoons not available. Yeah, you look at your spoon fund, and you're like, oh, I didn't allocate. I'm for overdrafted. This. Oh God. Uh, oh no. Ooh. Ooh, we're gonna have to cut out sleeping yeah why, yeah why does sleeping take spoons because it does because you're do. chronically ill yeah don't know what to tell you <sighs> but yeah i get that and the fact that you can't be one is also yeah. kind of hard because you're mandatory like yes if if i'm in a if bad I way i don't go he won't go right if it's his family if i don't go he won't go right and so in order to like preserve his responsibility to go i have to go <laughs> i've just started being like when would you like to take me home because <laughs> i'm done now <laughs> right Make or the i appearance. try to take my own car that that's can. that's something that we should say is a good a good tool yes. if you have a spouse and you're doing family get-togethers make sure you have your own vehicle yes if you can if this is socially acceptable in the situation <laughs> i don't know because you know how families are yeah. maybe it's not but if you can and you can be like well, it was great seeing everybody. I'm not doing well. Yeah. I'm going to leave. I don't feel very good, so I'm going to go home. Yeah. I'll see you at home. That's... Spouse of mine. That's a legit Bye. tip. Like, Yeah. 
I, I like that that's how you plan things, too. Yes. Like, if I can take my own car, we are in much better. Aren't you more likely to go, though? Yes. Like, when you have well, your own vehicle? because then I have a bailout. Yeah. Right. You're like, oh. <laughs> oh, God. If I didn't have a bailout, going was so anxiety-inducing that I was, like, the grouchiest, most, like, tensed human being because I knew that I was going to be stuck there. Yeah. And there was no out, no matter how bad I was feeling. Right. That was it. So you're coming in with all this extra stuff. Yeah. And it just and weighs just you down. Angst. Yeah. That's kind of where I why I stopped going was because of that. Like Yeah. I can't handle like I I can drive. I just haven't driven in forever. Yeah. It's dangerous because of my my spasms with my arm. Yep. But post surgery it hasn't been that so technically I could drive. I could drive. <laughs> but I, we don't have two vehicles. Yeah. So it's always like we have to go and with the kids, they you know, they need to be there longer and it was just, it's a whole thing. Yep. And I don't have the energy. Yeah. I don't. It's a lot. It is, like, the holiday is so spoon heavy. Mm-hmm. It's just a lot. And then you have January. Yep. Useless month. No no holidays. No birthdays. No birthdays. <laughs> None. Not one good no birthday. No birthdays I'm, at all. I have plenty of people have birthdays. I don't know what she's getting at. <laughs> it's not like her birthday's in January. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You can. <laughs> my son, everyone. Ta da! Pizza bagels. Pizza bagels. This is going to be such a bad edit. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. This is going to be a nightmare. <sighs> this is going to be boy. one where you're going to have to send it to me and I'll have to review and make sure you didn't miss any. Yeah. We'll do it the old school way. Yeah. I have a lot of those. I stopped sending them. I feel bad. I should send them. Good. Like this I last one, because I was like fried. <laughs> so basically, what we've discovered is we both gave up on quality assurance. <laughs> we were just like the final I don't step. Know, no beta. We well, die like men. <laughs> I've, I've been sending them to Jen, so it's oh fine. good. Okay, so there is a beta. There but... is. There is usually a beta. <laughs> 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 like I, I stopped sending. Well, I stopped watching them. Oh great, perfect. <laughs> I mean, I watched them when you sent them. But yeah, I know. There were a lot where I didn't like pull it up the night before yeah, and yeah. watch it because I used to do that. Yeah, you know when I had more spoons. Mm-hmm. But the holidays are hard, dude. Like, cut yourself a break. Cut yourself a break. Uh, really, that's what it boils down to: is you need to be able to give yourself space. Yeah. Like it's okay to not go. It's not. It's okay to not participate if you can't. Right. Like, because nobody wins when you force yourself to go. Yeah. You. You and if physically anybody, don't. And I'm sorry if anybody like really truly is distraught over you not going. They will reach out. True. To get back with you another time. It's a season, you know, yeah. not just day. You know. So like, you have a whole life right? they can in, involve themselves in. It's I'm just bad. saying. Yes. It's not bad, but Well, and that's the other part is like a lot of these expectations are so self-imposed. Yes. Oh, yes. And people are not thinking the things that we think that they are thinking about us when we are not there. No. Or when we have to leave early or when we show up and we don't look so good. Huh. Cuz that... that's one where I show up and I go, "I don't feel good." And they go, "Again?" That's But the uh, again that's is a in my brain. That's a huge one for me. Showing up and not looking good. Yeah. Like you're not well. Yeah. Oh, uh, but then on the other hand, if I show up and I look great, that's confusing for them too. They like, right. oh my god, you look so good, and you're like, thanks, I feel terrible. Yeah, yeah. It, oh there you god. go. See, there's no winning. There's, there's there is no winning. There, you just you can't. You just need to have like a like a pin that says, "Yes, I'm still ill." Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm going through some shivers. Oh no. It's Are weird. they cold shivers or just shiver shivers? No, they're like jerky. It, it has to happen, shivers. Oh, yeah, I feel that in my spine. I'm sorry. It's fine. Is this still withdrawal? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Cool. I love it. This is still. I started flushing and I was like, mmm. Still. Don't like that. <laughs> feeling it. Do you want to take a break? We can. We can do our break early. Yeah. Let's take a break and then we'll yeah. come back to it with some tips and a little more, um, yeah, deconstruction of it. A little, yeah. More deconstruction than tips. Yes. So. It'll be a good time. Take your meds. Like we told Jen, yeah, go take, take your, meds. your meds. Do it now. Do it now. Right now. What time is it? 
I wasn't looking at He's time. He's like, do I need to take my meds? <laughs> no, it's almost time for you to take your meds. I'll be actually. taking my meds in 10 minutes. Um, I was going to pull up a thing. I found the picture of the thing Kaylee's working on. <gasps> oh, this t-kirt. And I wanted to kind of inspire people. So here, hold that okay. up. Let's see if y'all can see it and if I don't shake. Yeah. Take your meds. Have a break if you need a break. Find some sunshine. Drink some water. Hydrate. Or dehydrate. There it is. Have a snack. Because you are a snack. And Venmo me $1,000. Amen, amen. <laughs> <laughs> These are beautiful. Thank you, Kaylee. I love them so I'm much. excited They're for them to exist. Exciting and adorable. And then I'll get to the last one before we go. Yes. Yes. What yeah. else did we forget? Like, you know, take a break if you need a break. Find some sunshine. Yeah, touch some grass if yeah. there is. If it's don't cold, know. bundle up. Find something co- like cozy. Touch the snow. Don't touch don't. the You don't have to. It's okay. It's going to hurt your joints, Put dude. your toes in it. It's not don't the beach. <laughs> so don't do that. Yeah, don't. Don't be like me. Running, running <laughs> don't be. Don't be Karina. Um, and if you're bipolar, check in with yourself. Amen. Are you feeling do manic? That. Maybe. Maybe not. Enjoy that you're not. Are you feeling low? Oh, I am. Actually, I'm not. I was. I've been yeah. doing okay the last few days. I've been okay on the bipolar train. But, you know, get to know yourself better. Yes. Check in. Yeah. And then. Good stuff. We will see you in a little bit. Yep. Bye. Bye. If you're looking to support the channel, our description has a support section that includes links to our Patreon and our merch site, Teespring. We've recently updated it with some new designs, including a version of our full logo, which you all have been requesting. You can find those at fantastic-pains.creator-spring.com. We love all the pictures that get shared with your Fantastic Pains pride, so please keep sending them. Welcome back. How was your break? Did you do the things? We did. Look. We did. We ate food even. There's food. Yeah. Did I it ate look a like food. Kid food? Yeah, it was kid food. You did, actually. I I'm food. impressed with you. It's in there now. And she went outside. We'll see what happens. And hopefully she's and feeling I took my less meds, crappy. So, so there. Do, do the I thing. did not, but it's not time for my meds. So. Okay, good. I was like, sir? No, my meds are like five, 5 o'clock, 5, 6. Okay. He's like, ish. I'm making stuff up right now. No, it's ish. <laughs> I don't have a set time for my night meds. Oh, okay. I, I take them when I need to be done for the day. Mm-hmm. So that's like my shoes. That's Oh, okay. okay. When I'm when I'm done, I lay down and I take my night meds and that's it. Smart. I'm done. Okay. That makes that's sense. That's my ritual that I've developed. Yeah. So it's that's like between five or six or seven. Late, like the other night, it was like nine. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? I didn't take my meds till late last night either. Yeah. Because I was like, I could, but then I would have to sit up drink water and then take the meds isn't that the worst when you can't even do that yeah when you're like water it's not going to help me yeah it's the enemy it's like i don't want anything at all Mm -mm. in my body so on that note (laughs) we're going to be talking about uh self-compassion yes and not beating yourself up for it right like you're allowed to to take it easy you need to take it easy it's not good for anyone like i was saying before it's not good for anyone for you to force yourself to go because you're not going to be yourself. Yeah. They're not going to enjoy you. Or they're going to complain and like, it's just not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More drama will arise. Yeah. Yeah. So how, 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 how do you, do? Yeah, how do? Cause I wasn't very nice to myself yeah. for Thanksgiving. I tried, like I gave myself the space to do it. Right. But, but I wasn't happy up, about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because we put all these like expectations on ourselves and sometimes they are expectations of others and sometimes they're just the ones that we've developed that we're like, well, I should be able to do this the, my, or I should be able to do that. Mine don't come from that so much anymore. Like I, they used to, like yeah. the I should be, the should yeah. train. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. But anymore, it's stuff that I, I self-perceiving. It's like what I'm expecting other people to say about me. Yes. Or think about me, you know? Yeah. When I know it's not true, no one's saying these things. Like, right. what? No one was like, Chris or Thanksgiving was ruined. No one, no one even thought it. It was just, oh, Chris didn't make it. Darn. Yeah. You know, but 
in my head, it was like, oh, you've let, like, everybody you've let down. everyone down. Exactly. Nobody's <laughs> ever going to love you again. They, they're they never going to forgive you. The kids are going to remember this till the day they die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <sighs> like, yeah. I get it. And I know that's, and even in the moment, I'm like, that's not what they're thinking. Or no. that's, yeah. that's me coming up with this. But right. even then, I'm like beating myself up about it. Yeah. Well, and it's hard. There's, I don't think there's going to be a point where you're like, I'm perfectly happy to miss this holiday that I really wanted to be able to do. I don't think we should get to that point, though, no. either. You know? Then there's no reason to try. <laughs> right. So I think, I think there isn't a level of, and what it is, is really grief. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Because it's, and, and that's the thing. We, we put it in this like guilty package, but it's really it's grief. just grief. It is. Yeah. That, like, I couldn't do the thing that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I wasn't able to do the thing that I wanted to be able to do. Right. And the able is the hard part because you're, like, can and should, right? Yeah. But what happens when you can't? Yes. And that's... I'm having that, that same fight with myself about setting up the Christmas decorations. Yeah. Like, I know what I need to do. I know I need to do it. I don't need to. Like, Jen will do it with me and it's not... Yeah. It's in my head. It's a big project that I have to be a part of. Right. But I don't. I it's, I'm not necessary. It just would make things easier. <laughs> yeah. And I want to. I think there's also a, a little selfish part of us that like wants us to be vital to. Oh, absolutely. Right. We're like, I want to be missed. <laughs> I used to be. Yeah. I want exactly. to be involved. I used to be I key, be key in this. Exactly. I was the person who did the thing. Yeah. 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 No, not anymore. So uh, recognizing that it is grief, I yeah. think, is the first step in starting to deal with that mm -hmm. and to dissect the shame away from it and really get to the bottom, Yeah, which is that like we're mourning the loss of our ability. Yeah. And when you're chronically ill, that happens because <laughs> everything is different year by year. Yeah. Well, like we said, it's it's like a benchmark. You know, you come yeah. up on the seasons you're planning <laughs> like you like you were for last year. Like last year, I, I couldn't do this, this or this. So I'm going to not. Right. I'll do these things that I'm able to do. Yeah. And then you get to it and you're like, oh, I'm not able to do those things either. Yes. Shoot. Yep. And then the grief begins. Yeah. And it comes to, it doesn't help that you have the seasonal. Yeah. Oh, God, the sads. Yeah. <laughs> seasonal affective. It's so fun. <laughs> mm hmm And the holidays were not like a happy time for us as kids. So the holidays are already challenging and come with enough grief all by themselves. Um, What's what sucks too is that I used to have some good ones. Like yeah, the ones I did with my mom were great. Oh yeah, like I that bet. family tradition was amazing. But then to, like I lost it. Yeah. And then it hasn't really transferred to the family like my current family yet. Yeah. All of it. Some of it has, but not all of it. Right. It's just sad. Yeah. But we're reclaiming it. Yeah. As we go. And making, like, setting out and making family traditions of our own. Yes. I mean, that's part oh, of exactly. making your own family, too. Right. Right. We do have our own traditions. Yeah. One, I think, that is developed is that we don't set up until Christmas night. Which makes perfect sense to because me. Because then you wake up in the morning and it's yeah. like a big Christmas surprise. It's beautiful and wonderful. And you're like, it is Christmas now. It's so much fucking work, though. <laughs> I bet. Oh, it's my God. Oh, my God. Ugh. Maybe we'll do that during the stream. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd, that'd be, be a really a good, good idea. idea. Christmas stream twenty third, ten thirty ish, all day, ten thirty till we can't go anymore. Yep, with breaks in between. Yeah, and well, and we'll smart, we'll move. We're pace. We we'll be able to lay down on the couch if we need to. Even. Yep. And we're gonna play games. Yeah, I still need to set up the games. Ah. Uh... Well, and I'll find some too. There are a few I wanted to order on Amazon. Oh, bring you the Cards Against Anxiety. Don't you have those? Have I'd have to order another one there oh, at work. Dang it. They're, yeah. I can I can grab another pack, though. They're good. Yeah. I think that'd be kind of a fun thing to go through. Yeah. We could do that. But yes, it will be fun. And I think that's also part of, like, creating our own yeah. tradition is, like, this is specifically our chronically ill <laughs> holiday stream. Yeah. That's, that's kind of what I want. I want this to be a yearly thing. <laughs> Yeah. Where like people can get on and commiserate. Yeah. And do do like participate non physically in, right. in something that's Christmassy. Right. And just hang out and have that commiseration together. Community. Like, community. Yeah. Community and commiserate. Yeah. Yeah. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. So even if even if you can't make it, 
No guilt. Don't feel bad. No, no grief. No guilt. Just you means that grieve. you couldn't, couldn't okay. make it that time. Yeah. That's the hard thing is that it's all a year away. <laughs> You're like, oh, I have to wait till next year to try again. Yeah. I can't redeem myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we, we're trying to set it up so that you can make it for yeah. any point in the day that you right. have. Because who knows what you're doing. It's the 23rd, so it might be hectic. Yeah. It's a Saturday. Hopefully you have it all. I don't know. We shall see. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? But I think it'll be fun. It so, should be. I don't know. Give let yourself me, some space. Let me make sure we didn't miss anything here. Because we have some good points, but we hit them quick. Yeah, we did. <clears throat> this is kind of like... So really, it's just the, like, be kind to yourself, right? Yeah understand that it's hard they're hard for people who are well yeah uh the holidays are just hard they're just hard there's a lot of expectation and not a lot of energy anymore Mm -hmm. (laughs) so cut yourself a break be kind to you right 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 i can do that my my holidays have gotten better as i've As, as like through the podcast especially like we've grown so much absolutely The, the holidays used to be really bad time for me just all around but like yeah. i'm actually excited this year to do things so yeah. that says a lot it'll be really interesting I right think. like mm-hmm. that we're excited to do the stream yeah well and it helps that we are out of the like chronic illness closet yeah where we are much more open about like hi i don't feel good <laughs> and people are like oh okay thank you for letting me know where you are in right. the world we will ke- keep that in mind yeah. as we progress through the day and that helps so much yeah so much. To I still want to make those cards. It. Oh, the yeah. EDS cards mm-hmm. that we can hand out to people. Because, like, they could be twofold. Hi, they could be, EDS. like, hi, I have EDS. This is, you know, like, blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah. the breakdown of what, what it's like for me. And then the back could be, like, do you have EDS? Have you looked into this? Uh-huh. Do you have this, this, and this? Like, we could, we could make a cool thing and just hand them out. Yeah. Awareness. <laughs> like, I identified that poor girl in the vet. That's <sighs> yeah. office. Yeah. She yep. was like, "Oh no!" And I was like, "Yeah, look it up. Have uh, fun. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thanks for my animal's medication. Nice to see you, fellow nice, zebra. Nice to diagnose you. <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> Went in for drugs, came out with a diagnosis. Yep. Damn. Yeah. Damn. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we covered it. Sweet. I mean, just. Don't hate yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Dummy. Really. You're important. You've got right. value. And I'm, if you're like, if you're concerned about what other people think or say, that might be a good point to, I'm trying to find a good way to say it, like communicating with them directly. Oh, yeah. Kind of dispel the, the them in your head. Yeah. With the them in real life. With them. Yeah. Because we've had that. We've both had that experience where like yeah. people, we me and randy especially do this or i haven't really i've gotten over it i'm better just a little bit better no <laughs> we both do the thing where it's like some we'll have the version in our head that has expectations and then we'll yeah. try and live up to these expectations and then we get upset or frustrated and then we take it out on the person but it's like hey they did they, they are not even in on the conversation right they had no clue <laughs> it's like yeah yeah so yeah and the way to do that is to be explicit. If you yes. have a concern, if you're like, do you think this about me? Ask them, do yeah. you think this about me? Yeah. I mean, if you're if you're friends, you should be able to ask. It should shouldn't be like a right. a big deal. Right. And then if they do, you can talk it out and explain it. Yes. The end. Right. And you know what? Like there's no reason to feel guilty for being chronically ill. You are ill, it's not your fault. This is the hand that we are dealt. And we are doing our best. And it is okay. Yeah. We're doing our best. We're just a little guy. <laughs> yes. I mean, I feel like that's the podcast in general. We're just a little guy. We're just guy. a little guy. You know, We're here. Just, We're just trying to make a, a difference. Little guy. Just a little guy. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> that's that's our story. Yeah. We're just a little guy. But remember, like, we're here. And if you want to talk to people who really get it, hop in the Discord. Yeah. You can talk to us directly through the Discord. Yes. Or message us. And we'll hop on a video call. Yeah. If we can. If, yeah. Seriously, if if you're feeling lonely or down or you have anything that you want to talk about, yeah. we're usually pretty open and free. So yes. we'll At make least it work. one of us, if not both. Yeah. Yeah. We'll make it we'll make it work. Yeah. 
Because we've been there. We know. Right. And it would have been nice to have someone like us for us right. back in the past. So. Yeah. That's the hard part about being in the chronic illness closet. Well. So we're like, I don't know if this is normal. I can't talk about it. Right. Right. You box <laughs> yourself in and then. You're like, then you and talk then to somebody. And we start talking about it. And we're like, oh, my oh, God. That, that you, you have the thing. Oh, my God. Who knew? I thought Your that was just Your body does me. that thing? Oh well, it's my. like, it's like uh, who was it? Verdugo or somebody was saying before that it's nice <laughs> to hear that the things that they go through aren't just them. That oh, it's yeah. a zebra thing. And oh, yes. They're not alone. Is zebra thing. Is zebra thing. Trash panda goodness. Yeah. But yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Sweet. Holidays are hard. You're allowed to take a break and you're allowed recognize to recognize the grief. Right. Recognize it, but don't not mourn it. Right. Like if it's grief, feel it. Right. Process it. And then. And then come back. You're yeah. okay. Yeah. All of those things are okay. But bullying yourself, less okay. No, don't if you're talking that. shit about my friend, I swear to God, I will mess you up. Come and fight you. We will. We will find you. <laughs> This is not a threat. This, this is, is not a, a promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Okay. Anyway. All right, my friends. <laughs> On that note, be kind to you. Be kind to others. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. That was good. She's, she means it. She promises. Do it. Don't talk smack about our friend. <laughs> Don't. Violent shaking. So mad. Spider sense. <laughs>